belly button popped seven months <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know a lot of people kind of left because they didn't really like the pregnancy updates and all that, but guys, I am pregnant, it is part of my life. And that does not take away from the fact that I do have content on the channel. So if you are looking for something fitness related, diet related, health related, take time to go through the channel. I promise you the content is there, but this is just part of the journey. And I literally just kind of put my thoughts together, uh, put some things on my phone so I don't remember, I don't, for, so I don't forget because pregnancy brain is a real thing. Um, if I seem out of breath, it's because I am out of breath. I'm always out of breath lately. And hopefully by the next time I do an update, I have a much nicer background. Like I'm trying to really get myself together here. This video has been uploaded literally 30 weeks out from my full term. So in seven weeks I'll be full term and then I am 10 weeks away from my two dates. OMG. It is happening. And it's there's just so much to do guys. So much to do. So I made some notes uh, just so I do not forget stuff to tell you guys because I will. If I don't write it down, I will. Alright, so throughout this entire journey from the time I found out that I was actually pregnant to this 38th week, um, so I'm officially in my third trimester, I have been using Ovia and Baby Center. I like Ovia more because it does give me more information. Uh, if you are pregnant and you are looking for support, I will suggest Baby Center app or Ovia, but for me, I have a preference for Ovia because Ovia tells me what I really, really want to know. And if there's something that I do not know, I cannot find out, I do have a conversation with my doctor because your doctor knows more than random um, people on the internet. Um, a lot of you have been coming around my Instagram and commenting on my belly. Yes, I apparently I have an all belly pregnancy. So, um, because a lot of people say, oh, from the back, you don't even look pregnant. And so, and I know the dates, like with weeks and months, um, can be a little bit different with different sites and for different people, but I am seven months in, third trimester, I am there. It's, <laughs> I'm seven months in going. So, um, so far I've gained uh, 13 pounds throughout my journey. That's not really a lot. I've had people who put on more weight, and I'm not saying this to say anything, um, everyone's pregnancy is different, but you you know I have struggled a little bit, as with most folks, during first trimester. So um, my dad is just kind of picking up slowly. There are days I'm still nauseous, like I can't even eat as much as I um, I would like, and certain things really do still turn me off. Um, but it's it's been a journey. But I just want you guys to know that. I have put on 13 pounds so far. My doctor at the very beginning told me just try to go for 25 pounds. No more. 25 pounds would be ideal for someone of my height and beginning weight at the time. So, I mean, given that I'm 30 weeks, you know, things can happen for the rest of the time. You know, I can put on weight pretty rapidly. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm not um, really tracking my macros. I'm just trying to keep my protein intake up. And trying to get a little bit of extra calories in because I am carrying another human and apparently they do really drain you so <laughs> that's what's going on um, I have a lot of joint pain especially my pelvic area that is because my pelvic area my pelvis is widening my doctor confirmed com confirmed that it's widening uh, it's widening your body you know at this point in time my body is changing in preparation for birth is that a bad thing already? I mean, I would love some wider hips, right? So we'll see what happens after the baby gets here. I do have increased flexibility. My squat, my squat, squat, my squat depth has improved really, really well. I mean, I am really amazed at how low I can go with my squats. But I can go heavy, but I can definitely go low. And for me, that's a plus. Um... Guys, I am seriously tired. I'm tired from doing nothing. I would get out of my car, just walk to the building, and I am <gasps> like literally sucking in air because I am tired. It's just the thing that happens. 
um, even taking a shower is taxing. I, I can't even explain, but I guess just the fact that I'm growing another human is really, really taxing. I'm teaching full time. Um, my husband has been very helpful. Um, so I can't, I can't really complain, but I am tired. And I know I'm saying this now when the baby gets here is going to be like I'm really tired, but I am tired from doing nothing. And that's something that's kind of really new to me. Um, I am dizzy. I get dizzy a lot. I spoke to my doctor about it. Um, that is because I do have low blood pressure, which is understood because I'm sharing my blood volume with my baby. So um, there are times that I, you know, when I can't even stand to teach, I have to sit down or um, I'm walking in the hallway and I get really dizzy. So I have to sit down. That happened at work. I literally had to go to the nurse's office at work because I my eyes went totally blank and everything got dark and that scared me so I went to get a little checkup and she told me that my pressure was a little bit low so I just laid there and after a few minutes I was fine. Hey guys, I'm at the nurse's office at work. <laughs> um, she is the best nurse ever because I just I just pop in. <laughs> I'm wearing scrubs. I did not change jobs. We get to wear our scrubs on Monday and Tuesday and i'm struggling like i'm breathing really hard so i came in to check my pressure i'm also vlogging so yeah but she's an awesome nurse and say hi, hi. <laughs> she's also in the scrubs of course she's a, she's a nurse <laughs> um still no constipation i heard that was a problem for a lot of women but i still have no constipation um, I have, I, I started having, um, swollen feet. I can't show you these, um, things right now, but, um, no stretch marks. Again, people have been coming around commanding me, um, oh my God, you have no stretch marks. Also, I try to gain my weight steadily, so I'm not stretching my, my belly. It's not growing as fast to be stretched as fast. So, I mean, I've been exercising as well, so that would also help regulate my weight. Um, and I use a lot of oils. I use bio oil, cacao oil, vitamin E oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil. I mean, I guess I'll have to do a pregnancy hack video, but all of those oils, just randomly slapping them on my belly, and not just my belly, like my armpits, legs, thighs, butt, back, everything, breasts. I've been putting oils all over my body, and I think um, just that with um, just general lifestyle, like working out and... You know, trying to keep a good regimen um, that has helped to all of those things helped keep my stretch marks at bay for now. Um, I had serious acid reflux towards the end of my second trimester. I mean, I was in tears because I was so miserable with my acid reflux. But another YouTuber, Mary Ellen, who um, has a nursing background, gave me some tips, and one of those things that she told me to take was. Um, apple cider vinegar and Mary Elena if you're looking at this video I really really appreciate it I know I already told you that but that has made the world of difference and I no longer have that issue so thank you so much Mary Ellen and I'm proud to say that I have cleaned up my diet a little bit so I'm trying to get more protein in eggs oh my gosh eggs have been a lifesaver guys I'm eating what I can and I'm eating what I like and I'm eating so that I do not throw up because I think that's even worse Okay, I don't want to throw up anything. Throughout this entire pregnancy, I have not thrown up a thing. Except for that one time. And you guys already know about that one time. If you don't know about that one time, I'm going to link the video below. Also, I got the flu shot. The side effects, not so great. I, I'm not saying the shot gave me the flu. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. But um, I did feel a little bit crappy after. It wasn't my first time to get the shot at all. But I was so badly off that I had to take a day home. Um, and honestly, as a teacher, you know, when you're pregnant, you don't want to take a day off because of the whole maternity leave issue, yada, yada. So, um, I've had my prenatal massages. I've been going to my chiropractor regularly. Those have been helping a lot, especially with my joint pain and alignment. And I've been relaxing a lot. I've been listening to music, playing music, um, for the baby. I play a variety of music. There's this thing about you should only play classical. Um, I don't only play pla uh, classical. I play a variety of music that I like. And um, so that includes music from home like soca and calypso. 
reggae, um, just music that I like. And the baby is very responsive to sound. Um, I don't know even if my husband realizes this, but even when he's talking, the baby gets very active. Um, and I talk to my little one a lot. So it's just a way of bonding, but also helping with neurological development and everything like that. Um, I did my glucose test. It wasn't as horrible as I thought it would have been. Um, hopefully I passed because I'm still waiting on my results. And then um, I also did my birthing, well my hospital tour, so I feel more relaxed because I was very conflicted with am I going to give birth in a birthing center or in the hospital. And I know now that I want to give birth in the hospital for a number of reasons and that's just a personal choice. And um, I was very prepared for that tour. I had my questions. All of my questions were answered. I'm already pre-registered because you never know when, when I'm going to go into labor. And the last thing you need is to be there in labor filling out paperwork for the hospital. So I'm pre-registered and I'm good to go along those lines. Um, I do intend to take breastfeeding classes and also CPR and infant CPR. I think that's just one of the best things I can ever do. I met with my... Um, HR department to discuss my maternity leave so I'm really praying that baby gets here um, just around due date. My mom, first time grandma, is going to be here late December so I really really hope my baby holds on for grandma to be here as well and I want my mom to witness my birth and my birthing. I just want all of that so I know you don't always get what you want but I, there's nothing wrong with wishing. In the process of packing my hospital bag, we're in the process of looking for a new home. Um, I have to give it to my husband. He has been very patient throughout, the, throughout this entire time. Um, he has been on things just with regards to shopping for a house. He's been on it because um, we do need a, a bigger space. Um, and um, work is great. The, the kids are great. They're trying. They really are trying. I enjoy working with my chemistry team and they're wonderful and I can't complain. They have been so helpful. Um, I, I just can't really complain at all about anything. Also, so if you listened to this video all the way through to this point, I do have a giveaway. I usually do not say I'm going to do a giveaway because people usually just come around for the giveaway. But I, I did have to include it because the company Lean Bods Bands and Tees sent me a few products um, to highlight. This is not the first time I'm mentioning um, Lean Bods Bands and Tees on my channel i'll link one of the videos below so you guys can check that out but i do have a code that gets you a discount the code is carib so check that out um i'm going to send a lucky subscriber one um slimming tea and one um oh i'm sorry i apologize guys goodness two packets of slimming tea so one for 20 days and one for 14 days. Okay, so you'll get this. And I'm also going to include a shaker bottle. So I did a lot of reviews on protein powders and things like that. Um, whatever you're into, I'm going to send you this shaker bottle. Uh, it's a lovely green. Okay, I already checked these out. The products are wonderful. And I mean, who doesn't like new gym gear? And I'm also going to send you the... Um, water infuser bottle or you can use it just for water but this is that okay very nice looking so one of you lucky subscribers will get one of these well all of these together and all you gotta do is so I'm gonna make this a little bit more challenging comment on one of my um, comments in this video. You must mention something that I've said in this video so I know you actually listen to the video. And I really appreciate you and until next time, peace.